Today's story is King Mouse by Carrie Fagan. A mouse woke up hungry. He came out of his hole and sniffed the air. He looked on top of a rock. Nothing there. He looked under some leaves. Nothing there. And then he noticed something glittering in the grass. It was a tiny crown. What's this? asked the mouse. He sniffed the crown. He tried to nibble it. He dangled it on his tail. At last he put the crown on his head. It was a perfect fit. A bear came by. The bear looked at the mouse. He saw the tiny crown. Are you a king? asked the bear. The mouse thought a moment. Yes, he replied, I am. The bear did his best to bow down. Hail to the king, he cried. A crow landed nearby. What's going on here? squawked the crow. The mouse is our king, declared the bear. Really? Yes, I am, said the mouse, and I'm hungry. Our king is hungry, cried the crow. We must find him something to eat. As the bear and the crow began to search, a tortoise ambled up to them. What are you doing? he asked. Gathering food for our king. A king at last, said the tortoise. Let me help you. The bear and the crow and the tortoise picked up as many seeds as they could carry. They presented the seeds to the mouse. The mouse ate and ate and ate. What do you wish for now, O king? asked the tortoise. The mouse burped. I'm bored, he said. Do something to amuse me. They argued about how to amuse the mouse. A fox stopped to listen. Why not put on a play, said the fox. The others agreed it was a splendid idea. They rehearsed over and over. Then they performed the play for the mouse. The crow and the fox had a sword fight. The bear pretended to faint. The tortoise gave a long speech. The mouse clapped. I haven't been this amused for ages, he said. I like being king. Meanwhile, a snake slithered through the grass while humming to herself. She saw something glitter. It was a crown. She put the crown on her head and continued on. Soon she came upon the other animals. The bear, the tortoise, the crow, the fox, and the mouse stared at the snake. Are you a queen? asked the fox. The snake thought a moment. Yes, she replied, I am. How lucky we are, huffed the bear. Now we have a queen and a king. Long live the queen, squawked the crow. Long live the queen, repeated the tortoise. They all bowed low, all except the mouse, who wasn't as pleased. As he bowed, the fox saw something in the grass. It was a crown. The fox put it on. The tortoise found a crown, too. And so did the crow. I'm a queen, yipped the fox. I'm a king, rasped the tortoise. I'm a queen, cawed the crow. The bear looked at the other animals in their crowns. Naturally, he wanted one, too, and began to search through the grass. But hard as he looked, he couldn't find one. The other animals began to parade in a circle. Round and round they went. Even the mouse joined in. Hail to me, cried the tortoise. Long live me, sang the fox. I was first, squeaked the mouse. The bear lowered his head. It wasn't any fun being the only one who wasn't a king or queen. He lumbered away. The bear walked until he came to a tree stump. He sat down. He could still faintly hear the others. I never have any luck, he said. The mouse stopped marching. Where had the bear gone? He decided to find out. Soon he came upon the bear sitting alone on a tree stump. The mouse took off his own crown. He picked up some dandelions and wove them into a ring. Then he scampered up beside the bear. Here you are, said the mouse. Try this on. The bear put the ring of dandelions on his head. The bear and the mouse sat on the tree stump. The sun began to go down. I bet the view's better from up there, hinted the mouse. So the bear picked up the mouse and put him on his shoulder. I'm not really a king, sighed the bear. I know, said the mouse. 
but that's an awfully nice sunset. Yes, said the bear. Yes, it is. They sat for a long time. The end. <laughs>